Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about direct variation. And for this kind of topic, this one is the second quarter for grade 9 students here in the Philippines. And the equation that, are, that is being used in representing direct variation is simply y is equal to kx. Now, when you say variation, that is y varies directly as x. If y is expressed as the product of some constant number k and x. In this given equation, guys, the two variables here are y and x. And this variable k is the constant of variation. Meaning, this one is a number. k represents a number and considered as the constant of variation. Now, simple definition or simple thing na kailangan niya maintindihan about direct variation. Simple lang yan. Dito, pag sinabi natin direct variation, if one quantity increases, yung isa rin ay nag-increase. On the other hand, if one quantity decreases, yung isa din ay nag-decrease. Meaning yun guys, if yung isa, yung isang variable natin ay tumataas, ang behavior din ng isang variable will goes up. Yes sir, what about the other one? Kapag naman bumaba yung isang variable or isang bagay or isang quantity, the other variable will also decrease. Ganun yung uh, pinaka-concept ng direct variation. So right now, we have here uh, two different examples of direct variation. So unahin ko muna ito para mas, ma mas maintindihan nyo yung ini ibig ko sabihin dito. Na pag yung isa ito maas, the other value will also increase. So look at this given table of values. We have here the variable x and the variable y. We're in... The values of x are 2, 4, and 16. And as you can see, the behavior of these numbers or these quantities is going up or increasing. While here, in the variable y, we have 4, 8, and 32. As the value of x increases, ang tendency, nag increase din yung value ng variable y. That's why this table of values represents direct variation. Another thing, what we have here is a given graph. Ito ay isang graph ng direct variation. Unang um, characteristic ng graph ng isang direct variation is that it represents a straight line. Second, dumadaan siya sa origin or sa center ng x and y axis. Pangalawa, kung mapansin nyo, as the value of x increases, the value of y also increases. Yeah, definitely, this one is an example of direct variation. So I want to show you another formula. If this is the general formula for direct variation, y is equal to kx. May isa pa tayong formula na kung saan, formula siya in getting the constant of variation. The constant of variation can be solved in manipulating this kind of equation. What you need to do is divide both sides of the, of the equation by x. And as you can see, we can cancel this out. And what we have now is k is equal to y over x. Meaning to say that this one is the formula for the constant of variation when it comes to direct variation. So let's have here a problem that would give you the idea kung ano may encounter in yung possible questions to direct variation. So we have here y varies directly as x if y is equal to 12 and x is equal to 4. Here's the problem. Find the constant of variation. What is the equation of variation? And what is x when y is 36? So right now, first thing we need to do is to find the constant of variation. Knowing that this one is a direct variation, we need to translate this first y varies directly as x. Kapag naka-encounter kayo ng ganyang klaseng statement, that is simply equal to y is equal to kx. Ito yung mismo general formula natin. y varies directly as x. Now, sabi dito, find the constant of variation. How are we going to answer letter A? To answer letter A, ito yung gagamitin natin. If y is equal to 12, when x is equal to 4, so, meron tayong value ng x, ay ng y, which is equal to 12. Tapos, yung x natin, 
is equal to 4. So, simple lang gagawin nyo. You can, you can directly use this formula and manipulate the equation or gamitin natin ang k is equal to y over x. So, para mas masanay kayo, ito gamitin natin. Okay? So, we have k is equal to y over x. Again, this variable k is the constant of variation. To find the constant, substitute the value of y, which is 12. That is 12 over your x, which is 4. So to simplify this, your k is equal to 12 divided by 4, which is equal to 3. Meaning, this is the constant of variation. So we are done answering letter A. Now let's move on to letter B. Sir, what is the equation? Now, for the equation, since we are done finding out the value of k, to answer letter B, what you need to do is to use this, y is equal to your k x, your k is equal to 3, meaning substitute 3 as k, then x. This is now the equation of the variation, y is equal to 3x. Again, no further solution using the general equation. Again, using the general equation, y, your k is 3, and then x. That's it. So let's move on with letter C. For letter C, what is x when y is equal to 36? Ngayon, pansin natin yung behavior, ha? Um, From y is equal to 12, dito, y is equal to 36. Kung mapansin nyo, from 12 to 36, ang movement ng numbers natin is increasing. Okay? Meaning, if we are expecting for the value of x, if this is 4, dapat ang maging sagot natin is greater than 4 or higher than 4. Kasi yung variable y natin is increasing. Dapat para sa rin ang behavior ng variable x. So let's continue. Um, to answer this, ito na gagamitin niya. y is equal to 3x. Okay? Kasi ito na yung mismo ano eh equation ng mismong given variation natin eh. So, what is x when y is equal to 36? So, y is equal to 36. Palitan natin yung y natin na 36. So, this is 36 is equal to 3x. Solve lang natin yan. Again, sir, ano nangyari dyan? Ito. Replace, we replace the variable y as 30, by 36. Ito na siya ngayon. And to find the value of x, what is x? Divide both sides by 3. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 36 divided by 3. And that is equal to 12. And this is the answer for letter C. Check natin. From y is equal to 12. Naging 36 increasing. From x which is 4, it became 12. So another increase in value. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. Or uh, from this example. And let's set the second example guys. For the second example... What we have here is a given table of values. Okay? Table of values. Same question. We will try to find the constant of variation. So, constant of variation. Madali lang hanap yung constant of variation, guys. Ha? Diba yung formula natin sa ano? Uh, for letter A, y is equal, I'm uh, sorry, y is equal to kx. And for the formula of constant of variation, that is k is equal to y over x. Ang gagawin mo lang, ito na yung mga values natin, di ba? So, try natin eh. Your k is equal to y, so 6 over x, which is 3. What is the answer, guys? The answer is 2. So, hindi tayo sure. Dapat makita natin pare-pareha sila. Try din natin to k is equal to y, which is 10, over your x, which is 5, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So, parehas din, guys. So, ganun din. Pag kinuha natin yung constant dito, o yung dinivide natin to 14, yung y natin 14 divided by 7, it will also give you 2. Meaning, the constant of variation is simply 2. Okay? So, let's move on with letter B. For letter B, what is the equation? This is your general formula. Copy the variable y. Your constant is 2, or your k is 2, so equals to 2x. Ito na mismo yan. Okay? 
So, what about letter C? What is y when x is equal to 9? So, patas yung ating y. Patas yung ating x. Dapat patas din siya. So, hmm, dito tayo. C. Using this formula, y is equal to 2x. Yan. Your x is equal to 9. Palitan mo lang yan. That is y is equal to 2 times 9. 9 yun ha. Multiply, y is equal to 2 times 9 which is 18. So ito yung sagot natin. As simple as that. So mapansin mo, tumataas yung ating x, 7, naging 9. Dapat yung y natin is greater than 14. And that's it. 18 is greater than 14. So as I hope you learned something from this video guys on how to find um, the constant of variation, the equation, and the missing value of a given problem. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!